All right, so after we've gotten a good uh, forearm workout in, after stirring this PDMS for five or five minutes, um, it's going to be full of all these little tiny bubbles. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you'll see this when you actually do the experiment. And so this is problematic because um, if we were to pour this straight onto our design and then uh, cure the device, our PDMS would be full of bubbles and we wouldn't be able to image the device and perform any actual experiments or any microscopy. So the um, cheap way to drive out all of these bubbles from this the PDMS is to fill a chamber, this little Tupperware container here, with um, automobile refrigerant. Uh, for <laughs> refrigerant. So what I have here is R134A automobile refrigerant, this stuff right here, and the way this is going to work is it's going to actually drive out the bubbles from the um, from the PDMS because it is more dense than air. And so when I fill this chamber with refrigerant and then place my um, PDMS inside there for 15 minutes, it'll drive it'll displace the air bubbles in the PDMS and the air will diffuse out leaving me a completely um, bubble free PDMS mixture. So what I need to do now is fill the chamber with uh, refrigerant. This usually takes about 30 seconds. You can tell um, how full the chamber is getting by the pitch of the um, air coming out of there. And so you can hear it getting lower and lower. That means the chamber is getting more and more filled. So I'm going to go ahead and place my PDMS in there and refill it a little bit more and then close it and start my timer. Now I'll start my timer for 15 minutes, and in 15 minutes, all the bubbles will be driven out of my PDMS, and then I'll be able to pour it onto my designs and cure it in the oven.